Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad, Fury333, and we are... Okay, we're still at the Cathedral of the Deep. We made some progress last time, but then had to turn around because... Lack of Estus. Anyway, let's actually deal with that this time. Also, you'll notice I'm a bit different now. I actually went off and bought the Knight Armor because I found that I wasn't really getting a lot of in between, or sorry, well, I bought the knight armor, but then I'm now wearing the nameless knight armor because I found that the nameless knight was a bit more weight efficient. The knight armor is cool as well, but basically I bought the knight armor because I found that there wasn't anything between Lothric knight armor and, say, like, fallen knight armor in terms of both weight and defense. And turns out I already had nameless knight armor, but I also got knight armor because I felt like that was a bit better of an option between, and it is actually a better option in between the two. The Lothric Knight Armor is really good for what it is. Anyhow, yeah, so modified the armor a bit. Also did a tiny bit of co-op and a bit of PvP off camera. Because this is a really good place for PvP. But let's continue with the PvE goodness. Actually, was it up here? Was it over here? I think it was over here, actually. I think I wanted to go through here, past the weird maggoty creature... And then through some of the other crap that's over here, because there's some enemies over here, like a big knight, I think. Oh yeah, there's a big knight, that's right. What the heck? Oh, right, okay, now, now I remember where I am. I haven't, I've taken a bit of a break, so I don't remember exactly offhand where I am. Ah, shoot. Perfect. All right, got rid of you. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to go over here. That's what I wanted to do. I have a strange feeling there's no rusted iron ring in this game. That's just the impression I've gotten. Does not feel like there's anything that you have that gives you anything like what the rusted iron ring gave you. Wait, are you actually coming after me? I don't even want to know what that thing is. Okay, let's keep going. That was strange and bizarre. Huh. What are you shooting at? Oh no. Ah, how'd you hit me? Go for a body shot so I don't actually hit the knight. Okay. I don't want to be fighting that knight at the same time I'm fighting that knight at the same time I'm fighting these two. Oh, I see. So I just I can distract them. Actually, that's always been the thing. You can always do, you can always do that sort of distraction in Dark Souls. Oops. Did not want to provoke them, I wanted to heal up. There. Nearly provoked them. Okay, so I guess the question is, am I going to wake this guy up? Looks like no. Oh, shit. Ah! Almost backstab. Tch! Shit, this is slow. But so am I. Ah, finally, I got the backstab I was looking for. Oh, right, that's another thing I forgot. I discovered, while doing all that stuff, which is not going to be relevant right now, since I don't really trust myself against this enemy too much. One thing I discovered is that you can actually hold down strong attack. Oh, it's never. You can hold down strong attack to get a stronger strong attack than if you just done it normal. Uh, do it normally first. So this is normal. And this is charged up. 
I forgot they brought in this mechanic from Bloodborne. Although it's not, as far as I can tell, quite like Bloodborne. I don't think you can knock enemies down using it. Because in Bloodborne, that's how you got backstabs. Like, you actually had to use that move to get a backstab. Oh, nice! That's efficiency! Alright. But yeah, so that's how you got backstabs before in Bloodborne. Not, of course, in Dark Souls at all. Still not in this one, but yeah, it was, you'd stagger them with that, and that would give you... Are you somebody? No, you're just an enemy. I see no reason to deal with you. Hang on. There was a yellow trail that came out of that enemy. I think that's where I'm getting my SS from. Here I thought it was message rating or something, but it, I'm thinking it might actually just be you kill certain enemies. It's kind of like how in, in Dark Souls 1 you get humanity from killing certain enemies. I have a feeling that in Dark Souls 3 you get part of your Estus flask back. I mean, that's what it would suggest. That's what having that big yellow trail there would suggest. Wow, I didn't even notice that their partner there was just stabbed in the back. Well, too bad for them. Situal, situal, situational awareness is the key to a long life. Of course, I say that, and I make sure to look around to make sure that I'm myself. Oh, that's a boss. Okay, cool. I am myself not being situationally oblivious. Because that would be bad. Amusingly ironic, but still bad. Okay, I just want to see what's going on this side, because it looks like there's something going on this side. And then, of course, it is boss time. I'm back to long sword, since I'm kind of not trusting myself with the other one. Let's see. Hey, another elevator. Presumably one going up. I presume correctly. Awesome. All right, so... Set that down in case I die. Just have a place to go back to. <gasps> Hey! This, I think, goes to the front of the entire place. I finally opened this shortcut up. Is it finally time? And it's finally time! I have a shortcut back up to where we had to start up the whole thing. That's that mausoleum, and yeah, okay, cool. Nice, so... What? I mean... Okay, that's kind of cool, but at the same time, the next bonfire is back there, I think. So this is kind of cool. Probably don't have to fight through that many enemies. But I'm still pretty sure I have to fight through quite a few to get to the boss, so... Hmm. Neat, though. Okay, that also means that I'm going to want to have this elevator up rather than down. So that was... Bringing it down was a mistake. Let's bring it up again after I'm down. Down, then up. All right. So, is there anywhere else? It looked like there was another passage over here. They were not connected, as I had originally suspected. That's strange. There's a whole upstairs area. Yeah. Or is that post-boss? I guess being post-boss would make sense, but... I don't know. I would assume so. Alright, so it doesn't look like... Actually, I know it does. No, it looks like what I can do is... No, I can't. I can't climb up. I have to go up here. So, yeah, that night's gonna be a pain every single time. I don't have 8,000 souls. Nothing to really spend them on, though. What are these saying? Read message. No love ahead. Why is that relevant? Try slash. I'm doing for health. I'm doing okay for health. I'm doing okay for magic. Because critical hits bring back FP. Deacons of the... Holy shit! Okay, okay. Looks like they don't actually... Wow. What are they doing, though? I mean, other than pyromancing me up. Okay, well, this is a job for the big sword. Because I need to hit all these.
Wow, that was good timing on the roll. All right, so yeah, this is interesting. There was a boss fight in two that was very much like this, except worse. Like, you had the same idea if you had like a couple big enemies and a few small enemies that, ow! But yeah, there's the same idea of a couple big enemies, a few small enemies. But the difference was the small enemies were crawling on the ground, and Dark Souls 2 was terrible at letting you hit things on the ground. So it really did not work out very well. It was one of those boss fights no one really liked. Okay. Oh, I see. So it's. So whoever has that red soul is my target. I got more Estus back. Ow. Gonna need it. Alright, alright. Wait a sec, what am I doing? I'm wor I'm using this sword of all swords. Shit! Okay, that wasn't quite what I'd hoped. Where'd the soul go? Oh, are they respawning? Yeah, they're respawning. Okay, cool. The important thing is to have as small a crowd as possible. And of course, targeting the one with the big soul. Okay. This has got to have another phase. Because right now, something's not... It's not doing as much as I expect it would do. Yeah, okay, there's more of them. So I don't really care about the group. Unless I'm supposed to. Unless the idea is that you have to care about the group, because otherwise you'll get completely wrecked. There's got to be another phase to this. Oh, that was good timing. Oh, yeah! Talk about doing it efficiently! Ow. Okay, what was that? Is that phase two? Are we in phase two? I heard a big scream. I know it's happening looking up the top. Oh, blue deacons now, eh? Huh, right. Oh, I see what's going on. So it's like, I've got to be careful I don't... Ow! Shoot! Okay, good. So there's something more than just what was before. Alright, so this is a bit harder. For the simple reason that I can't easily just slash my way through everything. Ah! Oh, I see. This guy is the big guy. He's like, he's the one I want to kill more than anything. All right, let's get out of here. Ah. Estus, ah! Estus up. Oh, I see. And that'll be his big ball that'll try to hit me. What? Through the wall? Okay, well, so much for cover. Well, screw you then, too. If I get one more slash in this thing, it should be over. There we go. That was neat. Hey, a small doll, I can finally go to Disneyland. That was a cool boss fight. I mean, okay, yeah, I did it in one, which kind of helps the feeling of, that was a cool boss fight. Because, you know, I didn't die over and over and over again. I didn't die at all. I actually got Estus recovered because I was killing enemies that gave me Estus. So, hey, that worked out beautifully. Wow, let's do some story time. Actually, you know what? No. There, we have a procedure. We have a procedure for this. We go back to Fire League Shrine. We check out story time on the soul. And then we also have to get the doll as well. So the doll gets story time. And then, after all that's done, then we go on to deal with the soul. To see if the soul gives me anything. So first off, we have the soul. Soul of the Deacons of the Deep. One of the twisted souls steeped in strength. 
used to crown any souls, etc. After Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral with the High Priest to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. All right. Cool. Hey, are you... You Henri? Yep, Henri and Horace. Cool. Oh, and we meet again. Hey! We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Henri of Astora. Yeah, apparently I'm supposed to marry you. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldridge's coffin was empty. What's your opinion on the kids? The man must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldridge is said to hail from Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. Oh, he's from Disneyland! Aldridge told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldridge's honest home, a pilgrim to and so. Yep. And how are you doing, horse? Man, a few words as always. Okay. Aha, that's all. Yep. Let's see. Deacons of the Deep gives me. Sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacons, said to have been imparted to them by McDonald of the Boreal Valley. Fires dark soul dregs. Souls that swell from the deep pursue their target, drawn towards life. Well, we saw what happened there. It's annoying as heck. Curse, too. Strong spell, but yeah, kind of annoying. And another one Cleric's Candlestick. Sword and Catalyst. Interesting. I have no particular reason to want to use it. I mean, it's kind of a neat idea. I just don't really see why I'd care. Uh, okay, so... Wait, that's intelligence. It scales with intelligence, but requires faith. Uh, if I was playing a straightforward cleric and not sort of this weird paladin -y build, I'd probably go for it. But I'm not... No, no. So let's just check out a couple things. So that's also why I don't ah. level up first, because there might be something cool that I want to buy. It requires usually 10,000 or so souls. Oh, wait, I don't want to buy. I want to. Oh. Oh, that's Sage's big hat. And. Not much else. Alright. So you haven't got anything new from bosses. So I should point out that I've noticed the Shrine Maiden will get you boss items. So whatever the boss had, when you kill the boss, then the Shrine Maiden, ha Shrine Maiden has them. Alright, how much? 20,000 souls! Holy crap! Okay, cool. So, I'm gonna be getting a couple Actually. levels from this. Right. Actually, I wanna know, is it the same? Yeah, I've... There's there's nothing for me with them. 20,000! Awesome! Very nice. I like to Welcome see that. Sp Very well done. I wanna get more stamina, I think. No! Oh! Alright, well, I... Farewell, Ashley. I think I'm going to cut here until after leveling up. And also, I mean, the thing is, I kind of went through... Okay, so Henri said they were going to go to the Farron Keep and beyond. Now, the thing is, I... Seeing as I just got the doll, and Henri's here, and I've gone through the catacombs and smoldering, like, I've pretty clearly done this kind of out of order. So I'm just gonna run through them a bit, not with not on camera, or I'm gonna cut to what if I find them or anything in Fair and Keep or the Catacombs or Smoldering Lake or anything. Because I suspect they're gonna show up there. Because I'm pretty sure I was supposed to go through the cathedral first and then Fair and Keep and all that. I mean, remember how much I was complaining how hard it was? Oops, sorry. Remember how I was complaining how hard it was? Yeah, that's probably why. Because it's probably doing it out of order. Anyhow, so I'll see you then after leveling up and doing all that. Oh, hell. Discovering Irithil in the Boreal Valley all in a day's work. If the tales are true, it is home to old moon-worshipping nobles and should be packed with treasure. What do you think? Shall I go and see what I can find? All right, fine, and if that isn't but feel... I hate to leave us. <laughs> I'll let you do that after I clear up the place. It'll probably kill you. I'm ready. All right. If I'm but I... I'll let you go after I... I guess... After I kill the boss. I have a bad feeling you're gonna Good die. Boss. So... Yeah. Not yet. You have anything new to say? Speak, I did. Honorable. 
Our Lord, and knowest that he fell for He's over there. He's on the other side of the shrine. You can go talk to him right now. Whatever. Sorry. Well, we'll be Jeremy back Jeremy. after this. So, yeah. I just saw a new dialogue and I thought, I should show you guys. Yeah. See you when I, if, I, if I find Henri, or if not, then I... I don't know if I'm going to check what's beyond the cathedral or if I'm going to go straight to Disneyland. I think that's the biggest Hall of Souls I've ever gotten. And hey, Henri. Hi, Henri. I don't know how to get to you. Shoot. I can see Henri on the cliff. I thought I went there at one point. Oh, wait. Shoot. Hang on. Right, that path goes around the back. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. All right, so we're back. And I'm trying to remember how I got to that path up there. Because I went up there once. Okay, the skeletons must only raise when I get to the bridge. Okay, that makes sense. And this is not the bridge, so hey, Henri. How's it going? You still seem to have a headache. Oh, hello. We meet again. Have you seen Horace anywhere? Nope. Oh, yes. Make sure I don't I accidentally swing at him. I've searched high and low, with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horace. Where have you run off to? Maybe he's at Disneyland already. Oh, have you abandoned? Okay, well, no clue where Horace is, but we found Henri. Kinda wonder if Henri goes to the Smoldering Lake. But at the same time, that's the Smoldering Lake, and I don't really feel like going to the Smoldering Lake. So, let's just... Okay. That was the end of the Catacombs, so I highly doubt that Henri is going to be showing up anywhere else in the Catacombs. So most likely, they're going forward to Disneyland. But before we go to Disneyland... Next episode's Disneyland. This episode's going to be... And I'm going to keep calling it that, because it, that's what it reminds me of. But yeah, well, she reminds me of the Disney logo I mentioned before, but the Disney logo doesn't quite work as well. I don't know. No one says, I'm going to the Disney logo, because that makes no sense. That's not a physical place. I mean, yeah, the new CG one is a pretty good representation of a virtual place that looks very similar to Earth the Boreal Valley, but it's not a place. Where is the entrance? I just, I just oh, right, there we go. Because there's a way up. This leads to places. Places to see and people to kill. And possibly talk to, but usually kill. I mean, at this point, I think we're looking at something like a 96-97% kill to talk ratio when it comes to random things, random entities I've met. Wait, what? Hang on, this is the way I came in. Okay, hold up. Is there no path beyond this? I thought that was an upstairs or something. Like, there's this whole upstairs area and all these... All these floodgates and such you have to open up that look like they're bridges or something. Did I miss something? Nope. Looks like this is the end of the line. Which kind of makes sense because we are meant to go to Irithol the Boreal Valley afterwards. But at the same time, what's all the upstairs stuff doing? I have not finished exploring this place, I'm sure. 
I can't have finished exploring this place by now. But I don't know. Where else do I go? Hmm. Alright, so I know there one of those gates. I thought one of those gates opened up over there. Like the base of the section down here, which I don't think. No, I don't think the deacons have. Alright, I don't think I have the deacons' attention. No, I don't. No, it was right there. Ah. Wild parishioners. Okay, so maybe it's up this elevator. If not, then. I don't know. I've clearly missed something. Clearly there's more to this area than I've explored so far, but I think... Well, actually... Oh. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, there is. If I go down here... I actually never went down here. What's trying to kill me? Alright, so that's definitely one of the bridges. I can see one of the bridges connects over there. Hey, Siegbert! I thought you were dead. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you look reasonably sane. I am a knight of Katarina. I've managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure? Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. You're not secret. I'm even quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. Hmm. That's not Siegfried. Well, did you drop? I know. Hmm. Well, I... That's not a Knight of Katarina either. Liar ahead? Charming best. No, no, that's not quite right. I don't even know for sure, but I know. This is Patches. I mentioned Patches before. Because I was talking about certain characters that were recurring. And, yeah, Patches is a character who basically, he shows up, has, he talks about treasure, and then... He tries to kick you into a pit. And my guess is what'll happen is he'll lower this while I'm halfway through. Usually it's a cutscene. <laughs> Shame on you, you rotten nut. You know, I already prepped the area patches. Thought you could outwit an onion. Well, say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. I already killed him. Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> this ordering makes no sense. Now, hear me out. <laughs> Where's the old giant? What? Where's the bloody giant? Just what have you done? I... How dare you? Have you no shame? Damn. 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 <laughs> okay, so yeah. I, I'm i guessing that's what always happens because... I mean, remember how I game it? I, I got in here. Oh, did you just die? But remember, I came in here with basically... No other way to go except through the giant. Now, admittedly, if I hadn't killed the giant, if I had let it live, I probably wouldn't have gotten that message, that second one. But it doesn't matter. So this one I'll have to do is find that lever. Which I think was right here. Nope. Where was that lever? What was it on the other side? Basically, there's a lever around here that raises that up, and I just need to raise it up again. But that's what I just went for, because I know I knew it was patches. 
I knew he was gonna drop that on me or something. He didn't kick me this time. Normally, Patches kicks you off whatever you're on. Ow. Oh, shoot, I'm dead. Or maybe not. Okay. Yeah, normally you get kicked. But it looks like in this case it was just you get the thing removed from under you. Which is annoying, but it's not terrible. Hmm. Where the heck was that lever? Man, last time I found it by accident. Hmm. Well, anyway, I will I guess I'll cut to when I find the lever? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Let's get out of here before the night picks me up, picks up that I'm here. Oh, that's not the lever I want. Which lever raises this one, then? Or was it up there? Uh, you know, I'll double-check up there. Oh, wait, no, 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 it's over here. That's right. It's down in this pool. Oh, no, that was the one that opened this. Well, I should probably raise it, too. I remember I was curious what controlled the other one. So, hmm. Are they on to me? I think they're on to me. Oh, one of them is. Too bad. I'm going to guess that was up when I came here. I don't recall lifting it. And if Patches is able to drop it from up there... Actually, that means nothing. Okay, now I'm annoyed. Where was that lever? No, it was here. I just can't find it. Alright, I think I'll just end the episode here. A little anticlimactic, but I don't know where that lever is. It's going to take me a little while to find it. So, till then, just thanks for watching, and see you next episode.